Hi, I'm Julio Yan, and I've never played the drums before. So today, Kyle and, well, I guess Romeo is gonna teach me how to play a beat in 10 minutes. And now I'm supposed to play the drums, <laughs> which feels like just being like, just go ahead, bake a cake. Um, do it! Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. The drum department starts now! That went, that went about as well as rehearsal went for that. Yeah. That was pretty nice. good. There's a line of ladies outside. But <laughs> yeah, for me. I, I was sold. Everyone, please welcome Julio to the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. you are a brave soul for sitting in this spot. Not only is this your first time actually sitting behind a drum set, but it's your first time being on a podcast, live show like this. Is that correct? Or have you been a nah. star? Not really. I uh, worked for a dog magazine before, and I used wow. to be on camera for that a lot. Oh, so, so. you were a pro. <laughs> Dogs watched it, so I guess the bar was really low. <laughs> yeah. It's basically uh, the same. Yeah, the coordination so, oh, is very what, little. Ooh, um, hot yes, take? Maybe a little? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So, um, but yes, this is my very first time. To, like, what just happened right now was the first time that I've ever used a drumstick to touch a drum. You're before. kidding me. Yeah, Amazing. so... And everyone's watching going, what, what are they doing today? <laughs> they normally have like drummers and drum things happening. But no, today we've got a very special guest. Uh, Julio does work here at Mizora. Uh, you want to let them know what you do here? I was just some guy walking in front of the building and they just came out. <laughs> Yo, come on. Yeah, they offered me 20 bucks to come here. Oh, no, they offered me 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. You're doing this no, pro bono. No, we're just like, come on in. This yeah. is the second time that this has happened to me. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, so I'm the Musora brand marketing manager. So, right. okay. yeah. Yeah. So you've seen you've seen a little bit of what we do in drum. You obviously as a brand marketer, you watch some of the videos, but you've never played the drums. Um, so this is going to be cool. This is like one of those questions. There it is. This is one of those questions that you get in those drum department chats, where it's like, how fast can you teach someone, mm. or can someone who's never played play a beat in ten minutes or something like that? And that's what we're going to try today. We're going to put our lessons to the test, and it's funny because I've got Brandon, mm. who's a world class educator, beside me. Kyle over there, he's been teaching drums for as long as probably I've been alive. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> like, realistically, we probably. We used to yeah. use records and we liked it! Oh, what are my Yeah, what are records? <laughs> and I've been teaching for years, too. So it's like, we have, you have three super experienced teachers here surrounding you, but we're not even gonna, we're not even gonna use us. <laughs> we're kind of swarming him, actually. Yeah. <laughs> also, I have to say, someone bit. in the YouTube chat says Freddie Mercury can play drums. Oh! Oh, uh, actually, for Halloween, I dressed up as uh, Freddie Mercury in the Breaking Free video, so that was that was very fun. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I do get that a lot. Spanish Freddie Mercury or Indian Freddie Mercury, <laughs> okay. either or. Indian Freddie yeah. Mercury, both right. valid. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what we're going to do is instead of um, go through lessons and, and, and stuff ourselves with them, we've already done a lot of work in producing the best lessons. And one of them is, uh, it's actually a 30-day drummer yeah. by Domino Sant'Antonio. What we realized there is that people who had never played, just like your situation, your scenario, they would go through this pack and they're literally playing beats and fills and to music within 30 days. We're going to expedite that. We're going to see if we can get you to play a beat in 10 minutes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> All right. Fun. And if we can't do it, well, hey, we can't do it. But I'm confident the way Domino has, the, or the way we set up the lessons with Domino is it's almost like a workout. You know, you just pick up your sticks. It's like Simon says. So you get the concept. You've helped with the marketing behind the concept. Now we're going to put it to the test. Well, I'd like to think that I come here not only as a representative of someone that never plays any instrument or that has never done it, uh, but also as a representative of the dumbest people in the world. <laughs> so, uh, as their ambassador, as their official ambassador, oh my I'm very excited to, okay. to nice. jump into this hole. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to say, it, it might seem a little odd that the three of us are not going to teach you how to do this, but I think what's important to know is we all had a lot of input along with all the amazing instructors we've worked with over the years yeah. on how we would distill down to teach someone the drums using that format, using the workout style that we got Domino to produce. And man, she did such a great job. Uh, and we're doing this because we are launching 30 Day Drummer Season 2 today. Yes. In fact, it just got launched. That's just. Right. Did you hear that sound? No, I didn't. It's the sound of it being launched. So like a click? Yeah. The or like a, 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 a refresh? Yeah. A whoosh? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and don't worry, Julio. We're, we're actually going to give you, we can pause it at any time. Yeah. You, okay. can, you can use us. You say, what am I doing wrong here? Maybe some inspiration we Maybe can Maybe you can you. hold my hand at some point. Maybe we can tie some strings around you and use it as a marionette yeah. if you uh, can't no, get we it. We could even come over and like move around. Play, yeah, yeah, yeah. And help you Have out. a ghost moment? And, yeah. yeah. That'd be beautiful. Ghost if it doesn't work, you get to choose someone who loses their job and you get their job. Thank God, because you guys said that if I didn't do this right, 
I was getting fired. So oh, now that the burden's off me, yeah, the, pressure's the, the pressure's on us three. Yeah. Yeah. We try not to use the word fired. But yeah, uh, you may not have employment. <laughs> you may not have building access anymore. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, before yeah. before we even get into it, mm-hmm. um, you did a little thing on the tom before you started. You've seen drummers play. Like, try your best to like play some sort of beat God. or something. Like. Again, <laughs> this felt horrible the first time that I had to do it. It's gonna get better. All right. I promise. Uh, this okay. is my rendition of "In the Air Tonight." Uh, nice. Solo. Oh. All okay. right. Here okay. we go. Ready. Uh, I mean, we haven't even done the lesson. You already. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Rhythmically, that was fine. I could feel it. That was. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Yes, Brandon. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh... So, when when you start Thirty Day Drummer, there's a couple prerequisite videos that you watch. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is, I thought, Kyle, why don't you make sure that he's holding a stick? I was just gonna say, we should go over the little. Get him started. Yeah. So the first three videos, we we talk about how to get the kit set up and make sure you're positioned well. Uh, So first of all, let's get your feet on the pedals. Okay. okay, so put them both, and you want to be positioned in a, in a way, like imagine we're at, uh, we're having coffee at a cafe, you're probably going to have your feet kind of like this, like you're sitting like a normal okay. kind of comfortable position, and that looks pretty good, I think. How's, how does it feel? I and like then, opening my legs ever so slightly <laughs> okay. when I sit at a yeah. cafe, what, yeah. yeah a, a, a slight man spread, that's <laughs> yeah. fine, yeah, that'll work. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> your feet are kind of like, so now if you press down with your right foot, hit the bass drum, and if we do the same thing with the hi-hat, Look at that. Nice. See? There Very go. good. All right, now the drums have been placed. Uh, our, our crack uh, studio team here has put the kit together good. Holding the drumsticks, we'll go over that very briefly, but actually, that's not bad. No, it's not. It's quite yeah, actually, good. Actually, it looks pretty good. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, just before we get in the video, all I want you to do, we're going to go, I just want you to play on the snare drum. Just go right, left, right, left. Perfect. You are in certainly good position to start, I would say, okay. at this point. There's All a lot right. more finer points you can get to, but the whole idea of 30 Day Drummer is to get playing. Okay. And you'd be surprised how much of this stuff you will actually learn by doing. So, uh, I think we're ready. Dave? Yeah, the only thing I'll add is that with your left foot, on this whole uh, lesson we're going to do, you're not ever going to lift your left foot up. Mm-hmm. You just keep that okay. foot planted. Your left foot's just, just going to be like okay. a rock there. And we're not doing anything s- uh, special. We're just going to play a basic beat. The way Domino does it, it's to a track, right? So mm-hmm. you're going to be playing. You're going to listen to her. Um, if you need to stop at any point, just say, okay, hold on, hold up. I got a question. We'll pause it and we'll jump in here. Okay. But um, it's pretty self explanatory. And for all you watching here who haven't seen 3D Do Drummer, this is literally the very first video. The very first one, right? Yeah, this is week first, one. This is day one. This is first day workout, one. Yeah. This is the first workout that you do. And um, who are you? Do you have any other questions for us? Um, no, I'm, just, I'm a little ready? scared, but yeah, no, I'm ready to Don't go. Don't be scared, yeah. man. Remember, you're here to have fun. And the way I always said uh, to a lot of students who are asking me about, can I play the drums? It's like, you've been to concerts before, right? I Sure, yeah. Come on, you've been to at least one concert. I've been concert. to smaller concerts before. I'm that telling counts. you, that I'm counts. very green into sure, this, sure. so yes. But when you're at a concert and everyone claps, you know, do you ever yeah. clap along with them? I've, I've been known to clap before. So, yeah. so you're like one third of the way there to playing the drums. Because that clap is the backbeat, so you already know where that lands. Nice. So just have fun with it. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, cool. And nice. we're going to see, for those of you watching, you're going to see the actual video and Julio at the same time if you're listening to this in the podcast I don't know what it's going to sound like but it's going to be a lot of fun so check it out here we go nice when you're ready Chris okay one two should I get going immediately no should I be doing that she is giving you an example okay all right thank god Already, he's scared already. Good question. Hey guys, it's yeah. Domino, and welcome to day one of week one of this amazing class. So today, we're going to learn exactly what I just played at the beginning of the video. It is the most important first beat that I think you need to play as a drummer. So if you're a beginner, and this is, this is the first time that you ever play drums, this is a beat that you need to learn. And if you already play drums, I mean, you never can get enough of practice of this beat that is so important. So let's get this started. So let's start from the beginning. For me, when I first learned this, well, it was, this was my first beat that I ever learned. And when my father taught me this beat, he started with the Hayat, which is the basic of this simple beat. So, we're gonna start with four Follow hits on, on the hi-hat. Okay. Yeah, One, all right, two, I'm gonna try three, to four. follow. Follow, here we go. Three, four. 
there you go. You have a beginning, <laughs> but there are a lot of stuff missing. So then what I love the most, I think, is the snare on the two and the four. And the way that you can see this is the snare as a clap hand. So you know when you're going to see a live show and they are asking you to clap your hands on the two and the four, when they are not asking you to, <laughs> to do that on the two and the four, but you have kind of a reflex of doing that. Well, there you go. You add this on the two and the four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. There you go. You have kind of a beat, but there's something missing. And for me, this is the most important thing, is the bass drum. It is kind of the, the ground here. So you're going to add the bass drum, the first and the third notes. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Sorry, can we pause it? Yeah. Pause, and yeah. there you go. There. I just felt like my foot was just com completely incommunicated with the rest of my body. I was like, all right, ready foot? All right, cool, let's do it. And then it was just not there at all. Okay, all right. what are we, like a minute and a bit in? Yep. Yeah. You're already gone. And you had the snare and the hi-hat down. Yep. How okay. are you feeling just with that? Just with that. I like it. Okay. I felt like there was a moment in which I stopped paying attention to the numbers. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I was just felt like I was just going on my own you know, beat. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So I, th I think I need to just focus on the numbers changing to make sure that I'm keeping the time right. But uh, eventually but what you want to get to is that you're not needing to count. Obviously, this is your third minute in, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you really want to listen to the sound. It's almost like this intuition. You're like, it just it becomes like autopilot. It won't happen in three minutes. It yeah. won't happen in ten minutes. Yeah. But that's the goal. But you're on the right track. You're conscious that you maybe need to stop focusing on the numbers, or maybe you need to start focusing. On the yeah, numbers. yeah, yeah. Or counting in my head, or or whatever. But I, I don't know. Maybe I was doing a combination of everything and doing nothing yeah. before. So um, yeah, I think that I need path. to be paying attention to that. Can we rewind it, like? 10 seconds maybe, and then we'll yeah. resume. All right. Feel free to stop at any time. Who yeah. We're here to help. All but right. give it a shot too. Like it's okay to let it go and see if you keep going. It's yeah, yeah, built yeah. Okay. to give you that space. So and we're There's not even doing the workout missing. yet. And for me, this is the most important thing is the bass drum. It is kind of the, the ground here. So you're going to add the bass drum, the first and the third notes. So one, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. And there you go. You have your beat. But maybe you only want to practice, let's say, the bass drum and the snare. You can okay. stop doing that up. And this is a good exercise. And you can practice this, I mean, while you're on the bus or watching a movie or whatever, you can practice this everywhere. And then... Pause there. Pause there. I don't know why my brain just goes, nope, nope, you're done. No, this is it. Stop it. Let's <laughs> shut it down and put the lights off and everything. This it's interesting. Perfect. But you had it. Yeah, it feels like I need to somehow go back and start it again. I'm sure that... Because I've seen the video, so I, I know that she goes eventually back. So I'm sure that that'll be helpful. Yeah. What I, she also does, what she also does, is she takes away one of the arms. So yeah. if you saw there, she was just going kick, snare, kick, snare. Because what you need to do is you need to get comfortable with the motion and the relationship between two limbs first before you yeah. can get three. So you just got this going. Now you need to get this going. So let's back yeah. it up maybe 15 seconds. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And follow what she says. When she says remove your hands from there, just follow the lead. If you're making mistakes, totally cool. But yeah, it's 10 minutes long, so we have lots of time to... We're not even into that yet. Oh, wow. Right. That's right. the thing. That's so right. I, I'm going to make a suggestion here. I'm going to challenge you. Okay. Because, and the thing that's really important this here is... This was already a challenge, Kyle. Nah, okay, but not at all. Okay, you got it. You, you, you're already doing it. You know, we don't normally film a person's first yeah. lesson. <laughs> Fair <Okay>. enough. <laughs> but... Uh, the whole idea with this is you're teaching your, your brain new pathways and things for your body to do, and it's going to be overloaded just a little bit, and that's why it's going, stop, okay. right? So what's going to happen here, and the way this is set up is just keep doing it. When we get right. into the actual workout, just get back on, right? Yeah, it's, that's true. Let's keep going, right. and I'll, I'll try Let's to... see how we do. I'll, I'll try to force I my brain get into it. Okay. So, and then I want to hear how you feel about after doing that. So okay. let's go from here. 
this is a good exercise and you can practice this i mean while you're on the bus or watching a movie or whatever you can practice this everywhere and then you have your ayat and you can separate stuff there you go so all of this we're gonna practice it in the workout that we're about to do so Stay with me and we're going to practice this now. All you have to do is grab your sticks, stay with me for only 10 minutes and we're going to play this exact groove on an actual song, which is going to be super fun. Like you won't even notice that it's going to be 10 minutes. And yeah, there you go. You're going to be able to play this groove. So see you in a bit. Okay, so we're starting from the beginning. We're gonna start with the Hayat, which is, as I previously said, the basics. So you can never get enough practice of this, I mean, this simple pattern, but you can practice at the same time your time by following the song and the click. I don't know why, but I'm always bouncing my, my body when I'm playing. It helps me keep the beats. Don't stop. We have a little bit more to do. Then we, it's gonna be more fun when we are going to add the other parts. I'm always dancing. <laughs> you can dance, guys. This is good. It makes it more fun to do. And at the end of the day, this is an important exercise. So we're gonna add now the snare. So the snare on the two and the four, you can see them as clap hands. You know when you're hearing a song, and you want to clap hands, this is the snare right here. So for those who can already play this easily, you can never get enough practice of your timing. And I think it's a good exercise to separate like only high up and snare. Even I, right now, I'm like... <laughs> Don't stop, guys. We're almost done with the snare. Imagine doing the full beat soon. So now, we're gonna go again with only the hi hat One, two, three, four, only the hi-hat. Such a good exercise to be able to keep the timing. I don't know for you, but it's more fun to play with a song like this. It makes it more, I don't know, not much as a practice, but more if you were actually playing a song. So soon we are going to add the bass drum, not the snare, only the bass drum. On the first and the third note, So, 
Are you ready <laughs> to add the bass drum? On the first and the third notes. One, two, three, and the bass drum. One, two, three. One, three. One, three. a good exercise to keep the time <laughs> so soon we're gonna add the snare on the two and the four but we're gonna stop the hi-hat so that way we will really practice the kick and the snare together And one, two, three, four, kick and snare. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. One, Pause three, it. four. Okay, before we go any further, dude. <laughs> okay. Six minutes in. You did it. And you're sounding great. I can tell the frustrations you're having, but yeah. that's totally normal. Yeah. It starts to balance out, though. Totally yeah, and you know what? It's um, I get very frustrated with myself because I, I start thinking about it, it almost mm. feels like if I just kind of like let it go and just like get into it and just kind of like, it's almost like, I, I don't know, almost like thinking about walking or thinking about when you're breathing. I'm doing it now. Um, but just like, it feels like if you just don't think about it too much, your brain will just know how to follow it. Great and the analogy. second you start mm. thinking about it, it's like, am I inhaling or exhaling? Um, yeah. I, I am finding it, a part of me feels like I'm doing something wrong with my foot. You know, we don't talk about technique right away because you develop technique. You develop how you're gonna hit the bass drum. The first steps is let's just get you playing okay. an actual beat. that makes sense. So don't worry about that. There are definitely things that I can recommend to okay. you on your foot. Um, you know, your hi-hat to just keep that nice and closed. You know, when yeah. you go to your foot, or your other foot, you tend to lift the tension off on that. But I'm not nitpicking here. I just want you to play and have fun yeah. with it, right? Okay. So, yeah, that makes sense. But for those of you who are you're just joining us live for the, uh, just catching up, Julio's never played the drums before, and we're challenging to see if we can teach him a beat in 10 minutes. Six minutes in, you did play it for like four bars there. Yeah. Then you kind of went off. So let's yeah. let's rewind it maybe So back. if you just nah, tuned in and you were like, what the hell happened to Drumio? <laughs> 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 Dr. Julio. Yeah. Yeah. Did they all nice. just have a stroke live on yeah. YouTube? He's teaching us stroke no groupings yeah. Yeah. in a five against four set. Uh, yeah, whenever okay. you're ready to go, let's, uh, let's pick it right back up. Okay. The, can you go back, Chris, sorry, can you go back like four, a minute? But we're gonna stop just to let me get into it again. There you go. So, are you ready <laughs> to add the bass drum? On the first and the third notes. One, two, three, and the bass drum. One, two, three, one, three, one, three. a good exercise to keep the time <laughs> so soon we're gonna add the snare on the two and the four but we're gonna stop 
the high abs. So that way, we will really practice the kick and the snare together. And one, two, three, four, kick and snare. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. One, three, four. I'm always like keeping the time with the other end on my knee. Do you feel it? This is kind of a beat there. You're not obligated to have the high up. There you go, you have a beat. And then the next step will be to add the hi-hat and keep going with the kick and the snare. So we will have the full actual groove that we are learning today. So are you ready to play the full groove? playing the groove there. So the next step will be to play the same pattern that you're playing on the high up, but you will be playing it on the ride. And you will have the same groove, but with another vibe on the ride. So this kind of groove, you can play it on the high up and then on the ride, and it will it. become kind of... <laughs> Great job. Oh, Thank you. Seriously. Ladies, ladies, not all at once, please. Can I say this before you go on, Julio? The internet is saying, oh my goodness, he's got it. He's playing it. He's playing the drums. One person says, the question was, can you play drums in under 10 minutes? The answer is yes. Instead, he can do it in five. Because we're not even done the 10-minute workout. That's a a very nice person, whoever said that. Mom, I really appreciate it. I ask you not to be here, please. How do you feel? Um, How do you feel? It feels great. I don't know if you noticed that there was a moment in which I stopped looking at the screen yes. and I was just yeah. kind of like blankly looking forward and I think that that kind of like really helped to just like get out like it's just but maybe it's because I'm also watching myself and that kind of like distracts me as well because I'm looking at an idiot playing in front of me and, <laughs> and using him as a frame of reference so um I, I think that it was just like getting into it just having just listening to Domino just letting her guide it really helped me and then also just kind of like just getting into the groove it makes a lot of sense now i thought that it was just like her style that she moves when she drums it makes a lot of sense that she moves why yeah it's like her body is just like into the pulse yeah 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 and so that makes a lot of sense i am having issues with this because (laughs) i'm realizing that i I lift my foot off the, mm, the pedal mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that distracts me. And then I'm like, no, put it back down. And then that yeah. takes me out. And every time that I realize it, I miss a beat. And so yeah. that I think would be like just something that I want to do now and focus more on just kind of like keeping, I don't know, like 
Do you just keep your weight just on it? Like, your, and again, a lot of these things, a lot of these things, you, if you figure out yourself, your body will figure yeah. it out okay. um, as you go through it. But one thing I really wanted to pull out is you had a lot of struggles in the very beginning and you stopped, okay, guys, this is what's happening. And that happens with every beginner. Mm -hmm. But watch what happened when you just fought through it for even four minutes. You just said, I'm just going to keep doing it for four minutes. And a lot of drummers don't even get there. They say, it's too hard. They throw the sticks away. I can never do it. How can you, you know, my mind, I start thinking about it, blah, blah, blah. Am I doing this right? Am I doing that right? Don't think about that. Don't even make that a worry. Just fight through it for like 10 minutes. Yeah. And look at, you're playing a beat. I would say that that's very much the, f like, I, within the first like 90 seconds, there's an, an urgency to walk away from this. Totally. Like, there is, <laughs> totally. Yeah. But, um. But yeah, it just felt like there was somewhere in there, there was like a line that got crossed. Yeah. I, and then my brain's like, oh, all right, let's do it. I think there's something too about when the sections, when you're just doing one thing for, I think it's like a minute and a half or two minutes, you can actually zone out and just do that yeah. thing for that extended period of time. And you kind of just lose, don't even focus on the video, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's why it felt like I was doing better not looking at the screen. It's because mm. I was watch, like I was actively watching. Yeah. Whilst just focusing on on keeping the beat and just moving my hand and just letting my brain kind of like get used to it felt mm -hmm. really good. And I don't know if you noticed that when there were a couple of moments in which I felt like I lost it and it felt really helpful to just go back to just focusing yep. on one or yeah. just two and then and then doing them at the same time. But um, yeah, this is fun. And, and you were super yeah. patient with it. Like that's the biggest thing and that's where that frustration moment happens. It falls apart and that's where people, that's that moment where they go, I'm done. Yeah. stopping and then they go on to something else or they put the sticks down for a while or whatever. That's the beauty of doing this in these 10 minute segments is it's trying to lock you into that focus for 10 minutes. And yeah. you know what? It and is. It does feel like, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I focus, I can feel like, it feels like my head gets hot, but like I can just feel the concentration and I very much feel like that right now. Good. Um, and, and what happens when you make a mistake? Nothing. Yeah. Well, you guys are watching me very intensely. Just keep yeah. Yeah. No, we kept track. Yeah, we have yeah, a score sheet. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> I did hear Brandon go, idiot. Uh, when I got our wrong, <laughs> but it's fine. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hey, let's move it back two okay. minutes. Let's do the last two minutes. So, we're, we'll, whenever you feel comfortable to go back in, let's do the last two minutes of the workout. We're okay. not going to say anything. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. Oh, okay. God. Do the Neil Peart solo fill at the end, too. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep... So the next step will be to play the same pattern that you are playing on the haya, but you will be playing it on the ride. And you will have the same groove, but with another vibe on the ride. So this kind of groove, you can play it on the hi -hat and then on the ride, and it will become kind of two different grooves that you're going to be able to play after that. So. We're gonna step on the Hyatt and go on the ride. One, two, three, four. Such a big difference only by switching Hyatt and ride. So you only need to be comfortable by doing the same pattern on the higher and then on the right. It's not the exact same position, but it's the same pattern. workout of today.
Congrats, guys, for making hey. this till the end. I just um, got to give you credit, free. man. It's <laughs> one thing to come and sit down with a buddy and say, I want to learn the drums. It's two things to sit down in front of three people. It's three things to sit down in front of an audience and you have cameras yeah. and lights. Yeah. Like, I've been doing videos for years and it's never easy when you're sitting in front of cameras. This is your first time doing something in a very vulnerable position. So thank you. No yeah. problem. Thank well you, done, guys. This, the this, audience is going wild. Yeah. They this say you should be a drummer. They said you should pursue this. Yes. We answered the question. You can't <laughs> learn in 10 minutes. Yeah, we did it. Well, we taught yeah. in 10 minutes. Success. You know what? This went even, as, even better than I expected. <laughs> um, so I'm going to challenge you now. Okay, oh, so. No. Oh, God. This was already a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I already did not something. Not at all. You know what I, I love? Is that we, we threw you the, the, the audible there with the ride symbol. You're like, what? What? And you're like, you're looking around the drum kit. And you're like, I think it's this one. And you gave it. You're like, I'm doing it. And yeah. It's like Dave Grohl rocking out of the ride symbol, yeah. you know? And did you I just settled right? right into it? Yeah, yeah man. Right. Okay. So, okay. So the drum set is an accompaniment instrument. So having music to play along with is usually a big part of that excitement and that joy we get out of it. So uh, I've got three songs that I'm going to queue up here for Kyle. you. Kyle. Oh, boy. Kyle, what are you doing? We, we uh -huh, got, we got our... He played the beat. When playing drums isn't enough. Do so, one. Do one song. Rush. Oh, God. <laughs> Dave's, Dave's looking at me like I'm insane. <laughs> okay, hold on. Give me one sec. He's probably right. Well, it's one thing to do it when you're following along. Nah. Metronome. Mm. All right. So I picked Does three Kyle songs. Does look like he care? No, Kyle No, he care. doesn't care. <laughs> Yeah. You haven't seen no. him sweat enough? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I picked three songs, all at the same tempo, and, and they're perfect for this beat. Okay. okay. And you may know them. That's the hope. I don't know if you do or not, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens. So okay. I'm going to play the song from the beginning, and you can just join in when you feel it's right, and let's see how it goes. And then let's talk about that. Okay. Is that one? <laughs> no? Maybe? Okay. All right. Cool. Here we go. Do you like that song? Well, I never thought that it would be the first song that I would play on the drums. And go. Uh, okay. Me, me, me. That yeah. felt easier. <laughs> <laughs> that felt a lot easier. You know, you know why? It's because you're just listening to the music. And yeah. the, like the, it, it, before, it felt like I was having to create the beat in my head. This, I, like, I know the beat, right? Like, if you just listen to the melody. Oh, wow. Kyle, that even had like an upbeat on the sure guitar. Did. Like, that mm -hmm. wasn't easy to. No. Uh, no. Okay, let's, right let's try it out. This is working. Uh, let's well, try I've got a couple one. more here. So <laughs> okay. I really. This all pays off if we make it to the third one. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Oh my god. So second one, so we're going a little bit different different way, okay. different vibe. Uh, yeah. This might be a little bit more something you're familiar with back in the day, not super far back. You keep looking over here, okay. you shouldn't do that. Yeah, I shouldn't look at okay, it. Okay, here we go. Uh, I thought this, <laughs> I was actually really happy this is the right tempo. So here we go. You're gonna get a little bit of lead in on this one. This is a nice guitar playing. Also. Okay, you, can you sit, signal when I'm supposed to go in? Mm -hmm. Okay. What song is it? One, two, one, two, three, four. It's got a tissue that I wish you saw. So I kept the mist know it all. I close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Cause with the birds I'll share. With the birds I'll share this Oh, okay, so now clearly that's not the exact part that Chad Smith plays on the recording. But look at the smile on your face. <sighs> oh, God. That's a smile because oh, it's over. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, maybe a little bit. Now, okay. But, but do you see like how, like you just lock right in with the vocal and you're like, oh, it's, it's just right yeah. here. You're just dancing. It's all it yeah. is, dancing Gosh. on the drums. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, I got one more. All right. This is the lightning round. Uh, this one oh, boy. Um, is... Actually, a favorite song around the office. I think this might be Dave's second favorite song. Is it ABBA? It's not. That's oh, why I think it's your second, second favorite second song. Favorite. Yeah, okay. that's right. What's your favorite song? Um, ABBA, of course. And just the song just ABBA. Just the song. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, you'll know when to come in. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Everybody, let's get some uh, some some applause, some excitement yeah. going in the here audience. We go. Here we go. Uh, I, need it. I need it, please. Coolio's going to bring this in. Here we go. Coolio. Here we go. You ready? I'll know when to come in. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Backstreet Boys. Oh, this is my this is my second favorite song. <laughs> I like to dedicate this to you. When I say I want it that way, we are two worlds apart. Can't reach to your heart when you say. You are a legend. I honestly, I am. <laughs> you do want it that way. I am sincerely shocked at how much easier it is to play with songs. Yeah. Mm. Like, I like I. That's great to know. I feel it's like I'm exaggerating. Yeah, I feel like I'm exaggerating, but it it I'm not. If sincerely so, it felt it feels so easy. So you know why when people say you, you just got to get out of your own mind, you got to get out of your own head, and you know art. When there's a movie by Disney called Flow, I believe it's called. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and it's an unbelievable uh, piece, and mm -hmm. where you get into that artistic flow, and then you don't think it just comes. You know that's what you're feeling right now. And with music, it's 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 kind of like in us anyway. It, you know, music is the oldest language. It's like the rhythm and the rhythm, like the uh, um, the pulse of music. Is a, like I have a, a four month old, and she's. Already kind of bobbing her head to music. So when you can get out of thinking about that, mm. that's when you will really start to see the creative juices and everything kind of just take over. But you have to understand, you have to be able to do that before, like you have to be able to physically play yeah. before Mechanics. that happens. Yeah. So there's that balance between how much do I practice, how do how are, with my yeah, practice pad, my stick control, the technique you talked about, your foot on the pedals, all those things need to be dialed in. But every time you dial those in a little bit more, it allows you to go further by just listening to the It's music. crazy, it, it's crazy to think that I just spent 10 minutes doing something, following like a lesson, and then I could go home and play a song by myself. That seems mm. insane. That feels, I feel like I'm a monkey holding sticks. <laughs> <laughs> like I just feel you like the most primitive beat. of men right now. But you can play music. And, but I can keep a beat, I guess. Well, I gotta tell you, when Kyle and I were thinking about the topic for this week, we're, we're there was a little bit of worry. We're like, it, can it is even Julio be done? a big an idiot? We don't know. Like, like, could we be shooting ourselves in the foot? But we're we're so confident. I was so confident in Thirty Day Drummer. The mm. proof is in the pudding. Like all yeah. the all the reviews. Yeah, we've seen student reviews that we've been doing for for with certain certain members for months in a row, and then they do one month of Thirty Day Drummer, and they're like killing it, right? So we're very confident, but we definitely we definitely took a risk, and it worked. Yes. Yeah. Well, all right. Julio, <laughs> thank you so much. I have, I, have, I have a little secret to tell you. Oh my god! The third song was okay. actually 10 BPM faster than the other two. Mm. So not only did you play that beat, you actually played it a little bit faster with the Backstreet Boys. So you're already you making progress. You did it again, Kyle. Oh you got my me goodness. Good. No, no, no. Right. You did it. Oh. So okay, we did it. I think we could say we all did it. We uh, all did it together. Yeah. All right. What would, what would be, because you just did this within 20 minutes, basically. You're yeah. sitting here. What advice would you give other beginners who are thinking about playing the drums? Honestly, I would say probably the the hardest part was the first three minutes. Just like that moment when I, and I call myself an idiot, like as a joke very, very often, if not permanently. But it's very rare that I feel like a sincere idiot. Like it's very rare that I feel frustrated with myself because I feel dumb. Yeah. And those first three minutes, I would say that's like the the hardest part. Like the for me, it was just like feeling like I can't just tell my foot to move when I do that mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. Um, and it wouldn't move, and just like it just felt so frustrating. And I would say if you were to draw my risk of abandoning this hobby, it would be then. Well, like it would sure just be. Minutes. It's a it's a reason why I haven't learned how to play any instruments in my mm. life. Like it's because I don't have that patience with myself. It felt like. Having a 10 minute lesson was just like a way to force me to sit down and to do it. Mm. And then my brain has kind of just like had access to this little bit of software that it didn't before. Yeah. 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 So, awesome. And it wasn't yeah. even really a lesson. It was more like, a, that's why we like to call it a workout. You know, you, you, you learn while you play instead of like learning and then trying to practice. That makes sense. Right. Yeah. And that's, that's the whole essence behind a workout. We've tried to, 
Because that three minute window, it's down to three minutes now. Like a lot of times that could be like a one month window before you're actually yeah. playing beats. Other instruments, mm -hmm. I've seen some of the teachers out there, it's like you haven't even gotten your student playing a song yet, you're 30, 30 days in. That has to happen fast. You get, you get hooked. Yep. It's like a bug, you get bitten. It's like, now I want to play more Backstreet Boys. And I kind of want to keep going, yeah. Good. Excellent. Good. That's maybe, the... maybe we're going to check in with you. Maybe we will. Ooh. Sure. Let's see how yeah. it goes. You, we have enough drum kits here you can take. Right? Home <laughs> People are saying, give him a drum kit. He, okay. Hey, Julio's got access. Yeah. <laughs> now you said it. You, yeah. you said it on okay. camera. We did. We did. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, what happens live? Okay, we've got some stuff to get to here. So. Okay. Uh, first of all, I was going to say, if you're interested in 30 Day Drummer, but right below the video, there's a, a little link right there if you want to check it out. I think it's drumio.com slash 30 day drummer, blah, blah, blah. It's right there. It's a button. Just press the link. It's easiest that way. All right. Uh, I want to get into student of the week, and then we're going to switch places. You're going to hang out where Dave is. You get okay. to grill Dave now. Nice. Yep. Uh, so let's talk about student of the week, shall we? Uh, drummer Lady actually is one of our students who took up 30 day drummer. She'd been playing for some time, and then she you know, life got in the way and she wasn't able to keep playing. But she has a great quote that says, if you believe you can do something, you can. That's so true. Mm -hmm. uh, so she did 30 Day Drummer. She posted her very first video and she was super excited about that. So she's kept going. She's doing all kinds of cool stuff. And she even took part in our latest student collaboration video inside Drumio. So uh, congratulations to Drummer Lady. Yeah. Uh, fantastic work. And uh, we're going to show a quick clip here of your hard work. So let's check it out. Awesome stuff, drummer lady. Nice. That was killer. Yeah. Well, well the crashes and we the were all We were all air drumming. Dave oh, was yeah. playing along uh, just now. It's kind of like this. It's hard not to with that. All time. right, Dave. It's time for Groove of the Week. Groove of the Week. So this groove, this was a beginner-esque kind of lesson or episode. So I wanted to keep a groove that a beginner to low intermediate can strive for. And it's one that we all know. Why I love this groove is you hear it, you know exactly what the song is. Julio, you're not a drummer. Let's see if you can guess the song mm. just by me playing the beat. Okay, okay you ready? Ready. As a, as a drummer, oh, as a drummer? I'm sorry. I, I, I failed this test. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's Everyone no... out there, I'll it's do one, one more of time. two choices. One of two choices. Okay. Yeah. Come on, you guys got to know what that is. I know is. it. And you know it. I know you, you know, know it. it. I did, no, I said. <laughs> Bunch of people in the chat oh. know it. Walk this way. Walk yeah. this way by, by Aerosmith. Aerosmith, or Walk This Way by Aerosmith and Run DMC. Yeah. <laughs> So why I love this yes. groove, as a drummer, when I was first starting out, this was one of the first grooves that I could play where my mom came down and said, oh, I know that song. <laughs> it's the first recognizable Sun validation. Beat. So the best way to do it, just eighth notes on the hi-hat the whole time, that opening up of the hi-hat is the most important part, right? Right in the beginning. Now, I don't have notated on there the hand coming down because I don't bring my hand down. I use my foot to close it, so it's just like... who struggle with that 16th note on the bass drum, you have to practice that because that, if you don't hit that, 
It's like the open hi-hat, it's not really the groove. And up to speed. This groove of the week. It's a simple one. Classic. I'm sure you all already know it, but Pretty if you didn't, cool. give it a try. All right, Dave. Uh, you're also going to get the opportunity now to show uh, showcase this really cool piece of gear that uh, ANF sent us to uh, review today. I was eyeballing this when I came in here. Um, it looks like a giant Do you pancake drum. Just pop it off the stand for a sec. Maybe uh, show them. It should sure. just come right off. There we go. So yeah, everybody, please meet the ANF. <laughs> it's called the Pancake, Dave. Can the you believe pan it? Pancake. Yes. It's it, brilliant. It's a single tension drum, so you only have to tune it on one side. It's got a brass shell, pretty cool. Okay. Comes in different sizes, comes anywhere from a 12 to a 22 inch drum. This is a very awesome 18 inch drum. And if you buy it as the Pan Kick package, which we're showcasing today, is this drum and this really cool stand. So maybe just throw oh, it back wow. on that stand. Oh yeah, holy cow! Because I guess you you need a specific that stand. stand. This stand, oh, wow. the stand on its own, is super cool because it looks like it was made in 1960. It's not. Okay, what's going on with this? Do I have to put up? Am I using the bass? We're not there yet. We're not even there yet. I know. So you can run it just as a cool floor, Tom. So if you want maybe to show them that, okay, like your pancake, almost like a gong drum. Doesn't quite sound like a gong drum, but it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It's very flat. Yes. I don't know if it's mic'd, so then it might not even be it's, able we're, to hear. We're getting sort of that, like, uh, yeah. If you want to maybe give them the floor tone, like a little give bit. There you go. Give a little love. Give a little love. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's not all. But so now, more? if you uh, if you can maybe, maybe Brandon can help you with yeah. this. The snare basket is designed to go flat, uh, like vertical. Okay, Brandon, so, this uh, is all you, yeah, bud. You guys can. Uh, I know it takes two people in this situation, but that's snare okay. Basket. Yeah. So this this thing is a really cool snare basket. So now you can actually just f bend that forward, and you'll notice, Dave. There's that oh, the, that cool attachment. So cool. cool. There's a cool attachment on the bottom. It also includes that attachment okay, for so a bass drum pedal. Yeah. And it should no just snap way. right back in. Actually, just stays. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, and you can adjust that angle. You might want to uh, angle it uh, so it's more straight. Yeah. yeah. And then also, if you can go down a little bit, you can do that too. Because yes. it's going to be flat. Yeah. And, and again, we have, there you go. Yeah. We have no bait. We have no. Uh, oh. So I don't want to dig into it too heavy. No. But it definitely has its own purpose. Like I would, I would obviously position this because oh, I could do double pedal. <laughs> just, just what they intended. <laughs> <laughs> just what they wanted. It's double pedal. I, I think it's super cool. Isn't though. that crazy? And and it's and, super cool. And you know, it's 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 not for everybody. But you know, I was thinking about like that for. Like doing like small casual gigs. Yeah, and I you, love how small it is. You could probably mount like just a normal snare on there or something too. Even totally. On the stand. Yeah. Hey, what's this song called? Is it Young or Fun? Uh, fun, Young. Yeah. Do, 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 yeah. Do, do, do. You know what? We are young. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. By Fun. That yeah. one too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is it. Hey. Give me a moment. Let me get my story straight. Are they using? Because that's what it sounds like. Maybe. That's yeah, the story every time we're going to tell anyways. Yeah, that's the story we're Super so, cool. Yeah, right. that's ANF, the Pan Kick. Uh, it's not cheap. How much do these run? Uh, that package, 865 US. Ooh. So it is some money, but it's a very well-crafted product. That stand, like I said, looks like 60s, uh, functions yeah. like today. The brass the looks incredible. Like the, right? the, yeah, the brass looks amazing. Yeah. Even Pretty the, cool. uh, like the, um, the metal on the basket is super heavy duty. Yeah, it's nickel plated to have yeah. that cool vibe to it. Well, for eight hundred bucks, I would hope it is. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. but I, but I, it is cool. Because like 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 a like a, like a small like cocktail kit would cost you that or more. You and this would way? just give, of course, that would just give you the opportunity to just take your own snare and that, and you're good to go. And it's, it takes up such a small footprint. Yeah. I really like that. Kind of reminds me of um, 
like those suitcase drum kits or something. You yeah, know? exactly. Like, yeah. But it's got a really, I mean, but the aesthetic though, I mean, come on, right? Okay, so we're giving away this eight hundred and seventy whatever dollars yes. package, uh, nice. which, is, which is pretty cool. Every week we give away something that we demo, and we give away a one-year membership to someone out there on YouTube. So let's do this first, and then we're going to give away a membership to someone to our on YouTube. Members. One of our members, because I mean, you know, we love our members, and they're pretty rad, All right. and they deserve it. So uh, let's see. Pancake drum, pancake. Okay, uh, I think I've got my winner. You get the pancake, oh, let's see. Pancake mix. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it. <clears throat> okay, who's the winner? Congratulations to Lex Luch. Lex Luch. Nice. Lex Luch. Uh, Congrats. Email me at krad at drumio.com with your address. We're going to send you this exact ANF pan kick and stand. You won't get the pedal. You're going to have to supply your own pedal. But you know what? You don't even need a pedal if you want to run it like yeah. a floor tom. I really want one and I want to play Thunderstruck with it all day long. Mm. I really, really mm. do. God, God. Pan drum. Mm. Too obvious? Nah. Yeah. Julio, yes. you get to pick the YouTube winner yeah. for right, a cool. one year Drumeo membership. So this they can take sounds, all And it sounds like I'm farting every time that I move. It sounds like I'm just like, going like, uh, is that I what your know. farts sound like? I know. This whole time, I, I thought that you were just being extremely rude. No. I was like, wow. It's the chair. Dave it's does the not chair. care about manners. I, I do it. not flatulate during all life. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is um, a clip. I think the YouTube uh, I like is going to. Be the bionic poon. <laughs> nice. uh, Congratulations. Well done, bionic poon. You did it again. Do it. Was that, that, was that for real? That's for real. Congratulations. That. You got a year membership. Congratulations. Um, was it, sorry. Mm. Bionic poon. <laughs> Bionic Correct. Poon. Bionic poon. Correct. I, I want to clarify it. It's the only one that I saw. Yeah, uh, yeah. Probably Aaron Eggers' sixth or seventh account or something. <laughs> yeah. it and it was well nice be. working here at Drumeo. Uh, 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 make sure uh, you send me uh, some donations. Check out, after, check uh, out his boy, LinkedIn but... account because he's going to be updating it. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bionic Poon, you've won a one year membership to Drumeo. Uh, email me at krad at drumeo.com. You see Amazing. it's there in the chat. It was super cool. And. Uh, you can have access to all kinds of stuff that we do inside the members area, including 30 Day Drummer Season 2, which starts February 27th. Yes. Yeah, if you're watching this and you experience similar things that Julio went through, or you've always wanted to play the drums, and you're like, ah, is it even possible in 10 minutes? It absolutely is. And we've done enough research and, and years and years and years of putting together lessons that we found this like formula that seems to work really well in Domino's most energetic, like happy, yeah, go lucky awesome. teacher yep. ever. So we partnered that concept with the, one of the best educators out there, and it uh, really worked. So check out 30 Day Drummer, check out drumio.com. Julio, thanks again so much. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Well done. This awesome. was fun. Awesome. 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 It was really fun. Good. I'm glad. And hopefully, this is the spark mm -hmm. of something bigger. You're going to go home and actually start practicing the drums. I'll de I definitely feel like there's very few opportunities to become unstupid, and this this feels like something <laughs> that I shouldn't waste. So, yeah. <laughs> That's How to advantage. become less stupid on the drums. That's yes. <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, next week, we are off. We're doing a special live stream on Tuesday. We'll be back with the drum department the week after. Stay mm -hmm. tuned for that. Uh, otherwise, we're going to say goodbye to all of you out there on YouTube and Facebook land. Members, stay tuned. We're going to come right back, and we're going to get some questions from you guys. Ask Julio anything you want. All right, guys. See you then. Cheers. Bye-bye.